Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Annie Lorana. Today is the 18th of March, 2018, and we're going to reflect on John chapter 12, 20 to 33. Listen. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it is for this very reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die, the Gospel of the Lord. Have you ever noticed how nobody talks about death? Even when folks are drunk and talk about everything under the sun, the one subject that never enters into a conversation is death. Now this is because people are afraid of death. The thought of us dying or someone we love dying is scary, so we deny it, we ignore it, we avoid it. Jesus spoke about death a lot. His death and our death. And in this passage he speaks about his death, which is to follow shortly when he says, Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. The seed must die if it is to bear fruit. And you don't get to the resurrection without the tomb. These words hold good for us as well. We must die if we are to live. This death is not always physical. Often it is emotional. Who hasn't suffered the pain of a broken relationship? or a job loss, or the dashing of hopes and dreams. But if you have noticed, there is always a resurrection that follows, which we will never have had without death preceding it. But there is a spiritual dying too that is needed, a dying to the self, that part of us that demands to be satisfied and pleasured by the things of the flesh. Jesus introduces a second divine paradox when he says, those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life, for eternity. It is only when we put that part of us that tries to fulfill the flesh to death, dying to lust, to greed, to pride, to envy, to avarice, to gluttony, to jealousy, that we can bear the fruit that we need to bear. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. It is not easy. Every death is painful. But then let us remember that there is great joy in the resurrection. And let us remember always, especially as Easter approaches, that we are children of the resurrection. Let us act like children of the resurrection. God bless you.